Hey everybody, Jennifer here with The Family Fudge and welcome to a Bunches of Lunches Marathon. This week we are celebrating Valentine's Day. And I know it's a little bit early, but I wanted to share all of these ideas with you so that you can have a chance to make these lovely lunches for your kids or for yourself. These ideas are super fun, but easy to make, and they definitely include a lot of hearts. Before we get started, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and now let's get on to the lunches. Good morning, guys, and happy Monday. Today's Valentine's Day themed lunch is going to be meatless and nut-free as well. I know so many of you have asked me for more nut-free lunch ideas. So not only is this one nut-free, but actually a lot of the lunches this week are also going to be nut-free. My first step for this lunch is to create some really cute and tiny peekaboo sandwiches. And since I'm using the Bentgo Kids Lunchbox today, I'm actually going to be making just half a sandwich per child. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and remove all the crusts from this bread and I'm going to use this wavy vegetable cutter to do that. I think the wavy edge definitely looks more like a valentine. But you guys, if you don't have a wavy vegetable cutter, you could just go ahead and take a knife or even kitchen scissors and you can cut off the crust in a zigzag pattern similar to these. And since I want these sandwiches to be tiny sandwiches, I'm actually going to cut them in fourths as well. Next, to create the peekaboo part of this peekaboo sandwich, I'm going to use a very small heart-shaped cookie cutter to punch out the middle of just half of the pieces of bread. And now normally to fill these sandwiches my go-to is peanut butter but like I said since I'm trying to keep this lunch nut free instead of using peanut butter I'm going to use some strawberry cream cheese instead. Of course this is a little bit sweet and it's nice and pink perfect for Valentine's. Now you guys these already look pretty cute but of course I'm gonna take it one step further by adding just a few sprinkles to the center and a Check it out you guys, these sandwiches look like adorable little valentines. So now that those are done, it's time to move on to some fruit and veggies. In the side section here, I'm going to add some beautiful fresh raspberries. And to dress these up just a bit, I'm also gonna throw in a Valentine's ring. These are the kind that are meant to go on cupcakes. Of course, I love that this one looks just like a little conversation heart, and it's going to fit perfectly right in here. Now in this back section, I'm going to add some celery. And these are kind of going to be like ants on a log, but instead of using peanut butter, I'm going to use more of that strawberry cream cheese right in the center. I have also tried this with vegetable cream cheese and that is also very tasty. And then instead of adding raisins to the top, I'm gonna go ahead and add some craisins instead. So these are dried cranberries. They're a little bit sweet, a little bit tart. And I'm going to try to place them like this on the top, sort of in a heart shape. Next up, I'm going to add in some of these Valentine's Day veggie chips. Now these really do taste just like regular veggie chips. The only difference is that these ones are only pink and most of them are shaped like hearts. There are some weird shapes in there as well. Now that brings us to the special treat. For today's lunch, I'm going to add just a few of these Valentine's M&Ms. Now these are plain ones, not the peanut ones. And I'm just going to fill up this little section here. I know the kids are gonna be super excited to see these. It's not very often that they get M&Ms in their lunch. Now you guys, this lunchbox is looking pretty full already, but I do wanna go ahead and throw in an applesauce pouch on the side, just in case. This will be great for lunchtime or snack time. And these applesauce pouches already have Valentine's Day decorations on the packaging, so they're perfect for this lunch. And there you have it guys, one lunch down and two to go. Good afternoon friends and welcome to Wednesday. I have Mackenzie here helping me. Hi! I think today's lunch came out so cute. What do you think Mackenzie? Yeah, it does look so cute. So I started off by making these really fun little vegetable skewers. I took a cucumber and I used my tiny little heart shaped cutter to cut them out. And then I alternated cucumber, tomato, cucumber and tomato. And to go along with that I'm also giving the kids some homemade ranch in this little cup right there. Now today I'm also giving the kids some pirate booty right over here. That's like a cheddar popcorn type snack. And we have some treats. These are cute little Valentine's Day cookies. I got them pre-made from Walmart and they're actually really tasty. So they each have two of those. And then I made the really special grilled cheese. I started by cutting out my bread, 
Then I actually spread a little bit of pesto on the bread. This gives it such a good flavor. For the cheese, I used one slice of cheddar and one slice of Havarti, so lots of cheese go into these grilled cheese sandwiches. And lastly, I'm also giving the kids one of these apple juices with this cute little heart-shaped silly straw. Are you guys hungry? Yeah! Now I am gonna be making Griffin's lunch as well with elements that are similar, just in bite-sized pieces. And I am planning to make a separate video on what he eats, so keep watching for that video. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Here you go. Make sure you eat your cucumbers before you eat your cookies, okay? Okay. Okay guys, lunchtime is over, and as you can tell, they did really well today. Mackenzie ate everything, so did Jackson. Lily left just one little cucumber and her pirate booty popcorn stuff. What did you like, Mackenzie? I like the sandwich. That was your favorite? Yeah. Yeah. I love pesto in a grilled cheese. It is so good. Yeah. And we will see you tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome to Tuesday. Today I'm packing another nut-free lunch. And for the main course, I'm going to need some sourdough bread. But you guys, this bread is not for sandwiches. I have something else in mind. The first thing I'm going to do is cut each of these pieces of bread in half. That way they fit better into the lunch box. And now I transferred these to a baking sheet because they're going in the oven after I'm done topping them. First up, I'm going to add about two tablespoons or so of pasta sauce. I'll go ahead and spread that out. Next, I'm gonna sprinkle on a good amount of mozzarella cheese. Then I'm going to finish it all off by adding six slices of turkey pepperoni to each one. I cut each little pepperoni into a heart shape. So now I'm going to go ahead and pop these into the oven for just about 10 minutes or so. And while that's happening, I'm going to move on to the fruit. For today's lunch, I'm adding a combination of melon. I'm also adding in some cantaloupe, and I also wanted to include honeydew melon, but I couldn't find any whole ones. So I just picked up some that are already sliced from the grocery store. To go along with our Valentine's theme, I'm gonna cut these melons into little heart shapes. Okay guys, so now that our pizza bread is ready, I can go ahead and get it into the lunchbox. Now this is definitely not gonna stay warm until lunchtime. My kids don't mind eating this at room temperature at all. In this back section of the lunchbox, I'm going to add in all of the melon. And for the veggies, I'm also adding in some heart-shaped carrots and some heart-shaped cucumber pieces. I'm just gonna add a little stack of these right into the center section. To go along with these veggies, I'm adding in a little container of ranch for dipping. Now in that same section, I'm also gonna be fitting in a Baby Bell cheese. But you guys, these aren't the regular flavored Baby Bell cheeses because for some reason, two of my kids don't enjoy the regular kind. Instead, I picked up the mozzarella flavored ones. Those ones they actually like. So now to add a little bit of Valentine's Day fun to these Baby Bell cheeses, I'm just going to take a heart-shaped cookie cutter and I'm going to very gently poke through the wax layer on the outside of the cheese. And now once I have these pieces of wax removed, I'm going to use another smaller cookie cutter to punch out a smaller heart. And then I'm going to take that little piece of wax and place it right on top. Now moving on to the treat. For today's lunch, I'm adding in these little raspberry filled heart cookies. I found these at Aldi. I'm just gonna fit one or two of these in here. I'll add in some Valentine's Day picks. I'm also gonna throw in a Valentine's Day yogurt smoothie. My kids all love these. And of course right now the little bottles have hearts and Valentine's Day things on the outside. So now that I have Jackson's lunch complete, I'm gonna go ahead and put together Lily's and Mackenzie's. And then just to be on the safe side, I'm also gonna throw in a package of pretzels. And these are the Valentine's pretzels that are super cute. They come in little X and O shapes. And I can almost always find these at Target and Walmart around Valentine's Day. Okay guys, here are the lunches before. Hey there, and happy Tuesday. Today I'm making another super cute but easy Valentine's inspired lunch. And I'm gonna start off by making some sandwiches, but not just any sandwiches. I'm gonna take several slices of bread and using some heart-shaped cookie cutters, I'm gonna make some mini peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Today I'm using our favorite extra chunky peanut butter with, of course, strawberry jam. And next comes the fun part. I'm gonna make these sandwiches into wands. 
I'm gonna take some medium sized pretzel sticks and I'm gonna stick them in my sandwiches just like this. Then I'm gonna place the jelly side right on top of that. Next, I'm gonna press each sandwich down so the pretzel is nice and secure inside the sandwich. And what I'm left with is a really cute heart-shaped sandwich on a pretzel stick. Isn't that adorable? And it was really easy to make. I think the kids are gonna love these. So now that I have our sandwiches in there, it's time to move on to the vegetables. Today I'm just adding some slices of cucumber with some slices of carrot. Then for the fruit, I'm gonna add something I know all of my kids are gonna be happy to see, and that is watermelon. And since we're doing a Valentine's Day theme, I will go ahead and put this really cute pick right in the watermelon. The kids can actually use it to pick up their watermelon when it's lunchtime. To go along with that, I'm also gonna throw in a little tiny packet of the Cupid's Crunch. And then I was gonna give the kids each a Baby Bell cheese. And then I remembered that Jackson doesn't like Baby Bell cheese, so I'm just gonna do this for the girls. And what I really like to do to dress up a Baby Bell cheese is to take one of my mini cookie cutters and stamp out some of the wax. So for today, since it's Valentine's Day themed, I'm just gonna use a little heart. And then last but not least, I'm gonna throw in a very special treat for today. I saw this idea on Pinterest and I've been wanting to make it for quite a while. All you need is some pie crust. Next, I'm gonna use my heart-shaped cookie cutter to stamp out several pieces. Next, I'm gonna add one of my very favorite treats, and that is Nutella. Now, to make this into a hand pie, I'm gonna add another piece of dough on top and then use my fork to crimp the sides together. These look kind of fancy, but they really only take a few minutes to throw together. Before I throw these into the oven, I'll go ahead and cut a little steam hole right on top, brush it lightly with some egg wash, and then sprinkle some sugar all over the top. Now I can go ahead and put these into the oven at 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes, or until they're nicely browned on the top, just like these are. Once the mini chocolate pies are cooled down, I can add them to a separate container with the trail mix. And then to drink today, the kids are just gonna have water. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it in their Mickey Mouse Good To Grow bottles just to make it a little bit more fun. Lunch is over now and here's what we ate. Who should I check first? Me. Let's start with Kenzie's. How'd it go, Kenzie? I really liked the pie. It was really cool. Yeah. I definitely should have made more of those. Those were super easy and really good. What about you, Jack? What was your favorite? I liked the pie. That was your favorite? Yeah. What about you, Lily? Oh, I see some vegetables in there. My favorite was the sandwiches and the watermelon. Those sandwiches on a pretzel were so cute. Did it actually stay on the pretzel though? Or did it? Yeah. Yeah, it did? You could pick it up still? Yeah. I was worried it might get too soggy and you couldn't pick it up anymore, but it seems like it worked. I will see you tomorrow. Now, if you've been a subscriber for a while, this setup will probably look very familiar to you. It's definitely a throwback to the lunches I used to make when I was just getting started. I didn't always have lots of different lunch boxes, and I didn't always have all of the decorations and things that I have nowadays. So I'm gonna show you how it's possible to make a really cute lunch, even if you don't have a fancy lunch box or lots of accessories. And to these, I'm gonna start by adding a little napkin right at the bottom. I just got these napkins at the Dollar Tree. They add a fun pop of color, but they're also really useful at lunchtime too, especially with today's lunch, which might get a little bit messy. Now in the back section of the lunchbox, I'm gonna go ahead and line them with some cupcake liners. I know not everybody wants to invest in silicone liners, so these little paper ones are definitely a good option. You can get a pack of these for really cheap. Again, they just add a little pop of color to the lunchbox. And I do like to go ahead and turn each little liner inside out so that the fun print is on the outside. So check it out, you guys. Our boxes are ready. They are super cute. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set these aside and start making some waffles. Now I say waffles, but I'm not actually making breakfast. For today's lunch, I'm actually making some cornbread waffles. So I'm just using this Jiffy mix to make it really quick and easy. To the dry mix, I just have to add one egg, some milk, and because these are waffles and not cornbread muffins, I'm also gonna add just two tablespoons of oil in there as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mix that all together. And since this is a Valentine's Day lunch, I thought it would be really cute to use this heart-shaped waffle iron. 
I do want to go ahead and spray this waffle iron just to make sure that the batter doesn't stick. And you guys, I actually found this cute little waffle iron at Target and it was only like $9. Okay guys, so now that I have all the waffles done, they are cooled down, I can go ahead and add them into the lunchbox. Now you guys, I want these waffles to be on the savory side. So to go along with them, I'm also adding in some shredded cheese and a little container of sour cream. And that's because I'm filling each thermos with some chili. If you guys have ever had the combination of cornbread and chili, you'll know it is super delicious. So the idea is that the kids can actually add the chili on top of the waffle if they want to. They can add cheese and sour cream, or they can just eat everything separate. It's totally up to them. For our fruit today, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some mandarin oranges. And to make these a little bit more Valentine's Day themed, I've just used a heart-shaped cutter to punch a heart shape in the peel. And then just because I have some of these Valentine's Day rings, I'm also going to add one right down inside. These lunches will definitely need a spoon on the side. And then to finish off this lunch for the special treat, I'm going to give the kids one of these Valentine's Day ding-dongs. Now I have to say, these don't exactly look like they do on the packaging. There's a serious lack of sprinkles on these guys, but that's okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure my kids will still love them. So that's two lunches down. I still have to make Jackson's lunch. Here's what they're looking like before. And here's what they look like after. I'm seeing quite a lot of chili left over. Apparently that wasn't a huge hit, but I have to say the waffles were a hit. Those are all completely gone. It looks like the oranges are gone, except for lilies. Overall, not too bad, but next time I might try a different chili recipe. Hi guys, and welcome to Tuesday. Today's lunch is super cute and nut-free. That's important today. I started off by making some chicken bacon ranch wraps. Just like that, I took a big tortilla, added some ranch-flavored cream cheese. I added some rotisserie chicken slices, some crumbled bacon and a little bit of spinach, not too much. And then I went ahead and rolled that up and put a cute little heart pick in there. I'm also sending a little napkin underneath there, one yogurt tube, and then I have some really fun grapes, which I cut into the shape of a heart, and I added a little pick. It's really easy to do this, just takes a few minutes. I'm also sending some cherry tomatoes today, and we have a very special drink. This is a little fruit punch, but I'm going to send it with this really fun heart silly straw that I found at Walmart. So hopefully the kids can poke it through here. We shall see. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. I've got my ice packs already. And just for fun, I will put in a little Valentine's Day treat, oops, which is this little tiny Hershey kiss, just right in there. And that is everything. I'm gonna go ahead and fill up their water bottles and then we will head out the door. Okay guys, it is almost bedtime and we're just getting around to checking the lunches. Right now I have Mackenzie and Lily and Jackson with me. Hi. 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 So first I'll go ahead and check Mackenzie's. Today we are using the Ziploc um, lunch boxes. I really like these two. I like a lot of different kinds of lunch boxes. I don't have an absolute favorite. They're all pretty good. It looks like you ate everything. Uh huh. Was it really good? Yeah. But you liked your lunch? What was your favorite part? I liked the roll-ups. The roll-ups with the bacon? Yeah. I think anything with bacon's good, right? Yeah. Okay, let's check Jackson's. Jackson, you ate everything too. Let's see how Lily did. Oh, you drank all your juice. Your sandwiches are gone? Mm -hmm. Did you eat everything? Yeah. By yourself or did you share? I shared with Griffin. You shared with Griffin, yeah. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys, and happy Thursday. For today's lunch, I'm gonna throw together some Valentine's Day pasta salad. I recently found these super cute heart-shaped noodles at Aldi, and I thought they'd be perfect made into a pasta salad. Check out these really cute hearts, you guys. And I checked on the packaging, and I thought it was really interesting that this pasta is colored with tomato powder and beetroot powder. That's how they got that color in there. So I'm going to add this pasta to some boiling water, and while they're cooking away, I'm going to get the rest of the ingredients ready. Now, I definitely want this pasta salad to be kid-friendly, so I'm I'm just gonna add a few slices of salami, cut into heart shapes, of course. I'm also adding some mozzarella cheese, cut in heart shapes. And I'm also adding in some olive slices. 
Okay, you guys, the pasta is ready. I made sure not to overcook it, because usually with shaped pasta like this, if you overcook it, it'll just fall apart. I drained these noodles. I cooled it down with a little bit of water as well. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but the red pasta did lose quite a bit of its color. I'd say it's more of a pink pasta now. So to these noodles, I'm gonna go ahead and add in all of the salami and the cheese. I'm also gonna add in the olives. And then for the dressing of this pasta salad, I'm gonna add a good amount of this Olive Garden Italian dressing, you guys. This is so good. It tastes just like the dressing that they sell in the restaurant. And I'm not really gonna measure this, I'm just kind of eyeballing it here. And then I'm going to mix this all together. Now you guys, this is looking pretty good already, but I want it to be a little bit more colorful. So I think I'll go ahead and add in some shredded carrots, some whole tomatoes, and some heart-shaped cucumbers. So now that the pasta salad is done, I can go ahead and get it into the lunch boxes. And I am gonna make sure not to get any of those tomatoes in the girls' lunches, just in Jackson's. Now moving over to this side section, I'm going to start by adding in a handful of blueberries. Then I'm going to top these with some Greek yogurt. This is actually honey-flavored Greek yogurt, and it is so good. I'm gonna go ahead and bury all of these blueberries right in the bottom. Then to the top of the yogurt, I'm adding just a few Valentine's Day sprinkles. In the back section of the lunchbox, I'm going to add some cucumber slices, and I'm going to top those off with a few pieces of carrot. I did go ahead and punch out the word love using some tiny cookie cutters. And to go along with the veggies, I'm just gonna fill this center section with some ranch dip. And then last but not least for the sweet treat today, I'm going to add in just a couple of these heart-shaped yogurt pretzels. So there we have Jackson's lunch. And there we have the girls' lunch. Good morning, guys, and happy Friday. Now, yesterday we ended up having some really severe weather here in Florida. We ended up being without power and without internet for most of the day. So I wasn't able to get the review of yesterday's lunch, but I can tell you that everybody loved the pasta salad. I was actually pretty surprised. But now it's a new day and I gotta make another lunch. So for this lunch, I kind of wanted to make what I would call a snacky lunch. That's a lot of little things put together to create a lunch. So I'm gonna start by making some delicious cheese spread. For this, I'm using some low-fat cream cheese. This is nice and at room temperature, so it's gonna mix up really well. To this, I'm also adding some light sour cream. And then to flavor this up, I'm also adding in about a tablespoon of ranch powder. And then to thin it all out, I'm adding just a little bit of milk. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mix this all together until it's nice and smooth. This already is going to be a really delicious cheese dip, but to make it a little bit more Valentine's Day friendly, I'm going to add some red food coloring. So now that I have that all mixed together, I'm going to finish it off with about half a cup of shredded cheese and a few pieces of green onion. To add this cheese dip to the lunch boxes, I thought it'd be really cute to put it into these heart-shaped silicone liners, just like that. That way the kids have plenty of space to dip things right in here. And now to go along with this, I'm also going to give the kids lots of different things that they can dip in the cheese. First, I'm gonna take some of these little non bread pieces I just cut these into little heart shapes. These go really well with that cheese dip. Next, I'm adding in some cucumber and some carrots. Those will also be really good dipped in there. And you guys, to make these, it's actually really easy. I just started by slicing some cucumbers and some carrots. Then I punched out the center of each of them with a heart-shaped cutter. And then I just swap the pieces. So the carrot goes into the center of the cucumber and the cucumber goes into the center of the carrot. Now moving on to the fruit, I thought it'd be really cute to go ahead and add in some heart-shaped kiwis. Those look so fun. And then in this front section, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some heart-shaped hard-boiled eggs. Now I actually started by making these last night because the longer you keep these in the egg molds, the better the shape is going to be. And I am gonna go ahead and just give each kid half of an egg because I think that will be plenty. Now to go along with this, I'm also gonna add in more of these Valentine's Day pretzels. I think I have just enough space to fit them right on the side. These will also be really good dipped into the cheese. And of course, I love that these have the fun little X and O shape. And then last but not least for the kids special treat today, I picked up these really adorable heart-shaped cookies from Target. These look just like fancy sugar cookies that you might make yourself. But of course, these are already ready to go and easy to throw into a lunch. 
So now that I have Mackenzie's lunch together, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to Lily's and to Jackson's. Theirs are gonna be pretty much the same, except when I get to Jackson's lunch, I'm actually going to remove the yolk from his hard boiled egg. I found out recently that he doesn't really mind the egg white, but he doesn't like the egg yolk. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that out. And in the center of his egg, I'm just gonna add in a cherry tomato instead. He's the only kid that really likes cherry tomato, so this will be perfect for him. And there you have it, guys. Here's what the lunches looked like before, and here they are after. Now, it looks like I might have given the kids too much cheese, because I see cheese left over, but not a lot of dippers. Overall, I'm just seeing a few pieces of kiwi left over, and a few little pieces of veggies, and that's it. So for this lunch, I'm gonna start by cracking six eggs into a bowl. I'm gonna add a splash of milk, some salt and some pepper. You definitely wanna season up these eggs. And then I'm going to whisk that all together. The kids all love the egg bites I made last week for one of the lunches, and they requested that again this week. So I just put a little bit of cheddar cheese in there and some green onions, and now I'm gonna pop this into the oven for only about 10 to 12 minutes. These cook up so quick, and hopefully they'll come out nice and easy, and they won't stick to my pan. Now as you can tell, I kind of overfilled some of these, but that's okay, they're still gonna taste great. Now these have had time to cool down a bit so I can handle them, but they're still warm, so I'm gonna pop them out and get them into the thermoses. And I think four to five pieces is probably enough for each kid. I'm gonna get my lid on there tight. Now to go along with today's breakfast theme, I'm also gonna make some pancakes, but not just regular pancakes. I'm gonna add a few Valentine's Day sprinkles to this mix. So these will be like fun Fetty pancakes. And to make these even more fun, I'm going to cook them in my little donut maker. And now that these are done cooking, I'm just gonna add a few more sprinkles on top so they look extra cute. Now moving on to the rest of the lunch. Of course, we already have our egg bites in the thermos. They're ready to go. But to go along with them, I do wanna give the kids a little bit of ketchup. And this week, I'm going with regular ketchup, not that green stuff they tried last week. Next, I'm gonna add in those pancake donuts. I think three or four is probably a good amount. Next, I'm gonna throw in some strawberry roses. These are so cute for Valentine's Day, but they couldn't be easier. To make these, all you need are some nice pointy strawberries, some skewers, and a paring knife. I'm gonna take my strawberry and stick it onto my skewer, just so I have something to hold on to as I'm cutting it. Then I'm gonna take my paring knife and very carefully cut little slits starting at the bottom of the strawberry. I'm not cutting all the way through. Then I'm gonna use my knife to gently bend each little cut that I make so it looks like the petal of a rose. And there you have it, a super cute strawberry rose. You can serve this on the stick or not. You could even put it on top of a cupcake. That would be really cute. For our vegetable today, I'm keeping it really simple. I'm just gonna throw in some broccoli. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the ranch in the same little section. So I'm just gonna pour it directly into the box. To go along with today's lunch, I'm also throwing in these tiny little Cheez-It packets. These are specifically for Valentine's Day. So they're smaller than a regular package would be, and I found these guys at Target. And then last but not least, I'm also throwing in a yogurt tube. This is the Chobani Greek yogurt in the cherry flavor. Okay guys, lunchtime is over and I've got Mackenzie, Jackson, and Lily with me. Say hi. Hi. It's time to check and see how they did today. Here's Mackenzie. What do you think, Kenzie? I really like the egg bites. Is that your favorite part? Yeah. What about Jackson? Uh, I, you, I didn't eat, you didn't eat all your broccoli. No, I didn't really like that. But my favorite part was the egg bites. Yeah. And what about you, Lily? What do you think? My favorite was the strawberries and the broccoli. And what about your eggs? <gasps> you ate all your eggs? Good I job. Did. I'm amazed. Excellent job today, guys. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, and welcome to Wednesday. For today's lunch, I'm gonna start by preparing the treat first. I'm gonna take some peanut butter chocolate chip cookie dough, and instead of just making round cookies, I'm gonna try to make them into heart shapes. 
using my silicone pan one more time. So I'm just tearing up little bits of dough and then pressing them into each little section. And then I'm gonna pop the whole thing in the oven. Now while those are cooking, I'm gonna get started on the soup which is gonna be the main part of today's lunch. So today's soup is something that kids have never tried before. Now if you've never tried Italian wedding soup before, it's basically broth with pasta, meatballs, and assorted vegetables like spinach and carrots. Now I'd love to know if you've ever tried Italian wedding soup. I'll go ahead and put a poll right here and you can let me know if you've tried it before and if you liked it. Now because I'm not sure my kids will actually like the soup, I'm just gonna give them a little bit, not too much in their thermoses. But because I'm not giving them so much, I am gonna also include a sandwich. So this is sort of a soup and sandwich combo. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a good old fashioned grilled cheese. The only difference is I'm gonna make them heart shaped with a little peekaboo window, perfect for Valentine's Day. Next, I'm gonna throw in the vegetable today, which is just some crinkle cut carrots. And for our fruit today, I'm going with the Minion's favorite fruit, a banana. And I went ahead and wrote a little Valentine's Day message on the banana using my toothpick. Next, I'm gonna throw in just two of our little heart-shaped cookies. These have cooled down, but they did kinda stick to the pan. I would probably just make round cookies next time. Next up, I'm also gonna throw in a small bag of the Valentine's Day pretzels. I've seen these at Walmart and at Target. It's just a really small bag of pretzels with X's and O shapes. They are so cute. For the drink today, the kids can choose between some no sugar added fruit water or some fruit and veggie juice. Wait a minute, one more thing. I definitely can't forget the fork and the ranch. I know Lily will be happy to see both of these. Give me some fork and ranch. We're back home now. Here's what we ate. Who should we start with today? Lily? Yeah. Should we start with you? What did you think? Was it good? Yeah. Oh, your napkin's gone. Did you like your soup? Uh, kind of. Kind of. What was your favorite part? Uh, carrot. The carrots? Okay, what about you, Jackson? I really like the cookie. The cookie, yeah. What do you think about the soup? I liked it, but it was really hot. Yeah, those thermoses do keep the, the soup really hot. What about you, Kenzie? What was your favorite part? My favorite part was also the cookie. I didn't know there was peanut butter in it. Yeah, it's peanut butter or chocolate chip. I didn't really like the soup, though. Was it your favorite? No. You just don't like soup. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Hi guys, and welcome to Thursday. I am super excited for today's lunch because the kids are gonna try a new combination they've never had before. That's right, for this lunch, we're doing chicken and waffles. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had chicken and waffles. For the chicken part, I'm gonna cook up some of these alphabet-shaped chicken nuggets. These are really good quality chicken nuggets and the kids love them. I'm kind of hoping to find some X's and O's in here. That would be perfect for Valentine's Day, but I'm not sure if I can, we'll see. And then for the waffles, I'm using these ones that I found at Ikea. They are the perfect little heart shaped already, right for today's lunch. It does sound a little bit weird to buy waffles at a furniture store, but we're giving them a try anyway. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the treat for today. I'm gonna make some heart-shaped Rice Krispie treats, and it's gonna be super easy because I found a kit. It comes with everything that I need, except for the butter. I do have to have my own butter and I found this at Target. So I'm just making these Rice Krispie treats the traditional way. I'm just gonna add some of the Valentine's Day sprinkles that I already had. Then using the heart-shaped cookie cutter that came with my kit, I'm just gonna cut out little hearts. Per They'll be the perfect little size for our lunches. And now it's time to put it all together. We already have our chicken in the thermoses and I toasted up our waffles. Now the kids could actually add the chicken and make sort of a chicken and waffle sandwich or they can eat them separately. It's totally up to them. Now to go along with this, I'm also adding in some homemade honey mustard sauce. Super easy but super delicious. Next, to go with our chicken and waffles, I'm also making some waffle cucumber slices. Next, I'm gonna throw in some grapes with a cute little heart pick just for fun. And then to go along with that, I'm also gonna give the kids these small bags of veggie chips. These are special just for Valentine's Day and I found them at Target. 
but since these ones are for Valentine's Day, they come in heart shapes instead. But they taste just the same as the regular ones, so I'm pretty sure my kids will like them. And then last but not least, of course, we have our special treat of the day, which is our heart-shaped Rice Krispie treat. Oh yes, and before I get all of my lids on here, I do wanna go ahead and take a picture so I can share it with the Bunches of Lunches Facebook group, which is open again if you'd like to join. I'll put a link down below. Back home now. All right guys, what did you think of this lunch today? What was your favorite part? I really liked the waffle cucumbers, and the Rice Krispie treat was really good too. What about you, Lily? My favorite was the Rice Krispie treat. And Jackson, I think I know what yours was. The sweet, was it the smoothie? That's Krispie treat. Oh, I thought you liked the smoothie best. I did that. I like it too. You like that one too? Yeah. Like that was a fun lunch. What did you guys think of chicken and waffles? Was it good or not? Nah, just so so. Well, it was interesting actually. I didn't really know what it was. Yeah, <laughs> something different. It's always fun to try new things. Hey friends, and happy Friday! I'm super excited for the weekend. We have one more Valentine's Day lunch to make first, though. And for this lunch today, I'm actually gonna start by making a salami and cheese sandwich. This is a classic sandwich that all the kids love, but to make it a little bit more fun for Valentine's Day, I'm using my love cookie cutters, and I found these at Target. Now to go along with this Sammy, I'm also including another lunchtime favorite, which is a hard boiled egg. I know Kenzie will be happy to see these. They're her favorite. Now I actually made these hard boiled eggs last night and after I took them out of the peel, I put them into my heart shaped molds. And now that it's the next morning, I can go ahead and open up the mold and we're left with a really cute heart shaped egg. For our vegetable today, I'm keeping it super simple. I'm just gonna throw in some baby carrots with some ranch, of course. I'm not gonna forget the ranch today. Then, to go along with this, I'm also throwing in a strawberry yogurt smoothie. And then I'm gonna make a very special Valentine's-themed snack mix. For this, I'm using some freeze-dried strawberries, some strawberry yogurt o cereal, some vanilla yogurt raisins, and some Valentine's Day pretzels. I'm just gonna mix these all together and add them to a separate container. I think this is a super cute mix for Valentine's Day, and it's that perfect balance of sweet and salty together. And then last but not least, I'm going to add in some special Valentine's Day fruit snacks. I found these ones at Target, and they're called Sour Twists. Now these packages are pretty small. I think there's probably only three or four pieces in each little package, so it's not too big. But you could give these away as Valentine's Day treats at school. And there you have it. I'm pretty sure the kids are going to love this one. Okay guys, what was your favorite part of today's lunch? My favorite part was the hard boiled egg. I knew you would say that. You love hard boiled eggs. What about you, Lily? I like the sandwich and the Cupid Crunch. What about you, Jack? I like the salami. Good job today, guys. Good morning, guys, and happy Monday. Today is the first day of Valentine's Day themed lunches, and they came out so cute. Right now, I have Mackenzie and Jackson and Lily here helping me say hi. 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 So what do you think, guys? Does it look cool? Yeah. To make this really cute, I started off by adding a napkin. I just folded it up and put it in the bottom of the largest section. And then I also took some cupcake liners, turned them inside out, and added them to my smaller compartments. This is a really easy way to make it look fun and festive. It's not expensive to do, and it makes cleaning up the lunch boxes afterwards a lot easier. Next, I went ahead and made our really fun PB&Js, because after all, Monday is what? PB&J day. That's right, so I took some bread, and I used my larger heart-shaped cutter to cut out the bread first, and then to half of the bread, I went ahead and did a smaller heart-shaped cookie cutter as well, so you can have a little peekaboo window, just like that. So I went ahead and just put some peanut butter and some jam. I'm still using the sugar plum jam from Christmas. It's really very tasty. After that, I added a few strawberries. I went ahead and left them whole today just so it would be easy. But I did go ahead and put a cute little pick in there just for fun. And then over on this corner, I have some carrots. I actually have a purple carrot, an orange carrot, and a yellow carrot. And went ahead and just cut them into the shape of a heart. Well, I tried my best to make them look like hearts. But it was kind of dangerous, so kids, do not try this at home. That's definitely something for parents to do. 
Over here I'm also including a really fun yogurt drink. I know the kids are going to love these, especially when they get to drink them with these heart-shaped silly straws. I found these at Walmart and I got a big pack for just a couple of dollars. So I have my ice pack in there to keep the yogurt nice and cold. I'm gonna go ahead and put my silly straws down in there as well. I have a few other things. In these cute little bags, I have a little bit of this popcorn. This is kind of like pirate booty, but it's the Trader Joe's version. So I have this one, and then in Lily's, I just put a little bit less. And there's also a treat today. I have one single Valentine's Day Hershey Kiss. So that's gonna go right down in the corner. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and get my lids on, and then we'll head out the door. What do you guys think today? It looks cool. It looks fun. We'll see you when we get back. Okay guys, we're back home now and I had a chance to peek at these when I was unzipping them and you'll probably be shocked. Right now I have Mackenzie, Jackson, and Lily with me so they have some explaining to do. But I think we'll start with Kenzie's because I know Kenzie, she did a good job. Yeah. Right? You ate just about, oh you, ate, you did eat everything. These are just some strawberry tops, you don't eat those. Now for Jackson's. Well, Jackson ate his yogurt, or he drank his yogurt, but we have a lot of sandwich left. He only ate one carrot, and he is finishing his strawberry right now. So it wasn't your favorite, or you're just not hungry today? I wasn't very hungry today. Well, let's check Lily's. First off, I can see that she still has some pirate booty, and that's okay, she can eat that later, but she didn't eat much at all. Maybe one or two little bites here, and I can totally tell that she stuck her finger in the middle. Did you stick your finger in your yeah. peanut butter? Well, she didn't eat any carrots, and she didn't eat any strawberries. What was the problem, Lily? Mm, I was full. I didn't expect her to eat this whole sandwich, but I did expect her to eat more than just one bite. So, that means she didn't get to have her Hershey Kiss little treat. But she did drink her yogurt, so I could think it's, she at least had something. So overall today, not the best, but we can try again tomorrow. And we'll see you on Tuesday. Good morning guys, and welcome to Thursday. Today's lunch came out super cute. I know the kids are going to love it. So today's lunch is inspired by a Lunchable. Have you guys seen the Lunchables where the kids can actually make their own pizza? This is kind of the same idea. So for our pizza crust today, I started with a pita bread and I actually used a heart-shaped cookie cutter to cut them out. Now for the older kids, I'm putting two little pizza crusts in there and for Lily, just one. And just for fun, I put a little heart pick in there to make it cute. Over in this corner, I went ahead and put some shredded mozzarella cheese and then we have the pepperoni. Now I did go ahead and put some little googly eyes in the little stack just to make it fun. I just took some of this uncured pepperoni and I used my heart-shaped cookie cutter to cut them out. Now to go along with this, I'm also serving some berry applesauce. This is the kind from Trader Joe's. It's very tasty. And to make it fun, I just added a few little stickers on there. Very easy to make it cute. Right here we have the pizza sauce. I went ahead and just used my regular pizza sauce. I put a couple of spoonfuls in each little container because the kids don't need a lot. That way they can just go ahead and open this up and squeeze it on their crust. Now over in this corner, I have a little container with something I know the kids are going to love. I have some Valentine's Day gummies, like fruit snacks, and I found these at Trader Joe's. And normally, I'm not a big fan of fruit snacks, even though my kids love them, but I have to tell you, these ones are really cute, and they're actually really tasty. So I just gave them a couple right in there. And then for an extra snack today, I did go ahead and send them with some of these pea crisps. These are just like a baked green pea snack. They're actually really tasty. And I get these at Trader Joe's as well. So we just have a few in there, not a lot. So that is everything in the lunch today. I'm gonna go ahead and get my lids on. I'll put my ice pack in there. I gotta round up the kids' water bottles and then we will head out the door. We're back home now and here's what we ate. That's right, we're gonna go ahead and start with Mackenzie's here. I see that she has a few snap peas left, but that's okay. These are still good, you wanna eat these now? Yeah. Okay, let's check in here. So what do you think of lunch today, Mackenzie? It was really, really yeah. good. Yeah, you like making your own pizza? Yeah. I see that you have quite a bit of cheese left though. Next time, put extra cheese on your pizza and use it all. Okay. But everything else was good? Yep. Yeah. 
and you used all of your sauce. And, not surprising, the fruit snacks are all gone. Those were good, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's check Jackson's. How'd it go, Jack? Good. Was it really good? Okay, let's see here. I see that you ate all of your snap peas and everything else. There's just a tiny bit of cheese left in there, but overall, really good job. What was your favorite part, Jack? All the gummies and the pizza. The gummies and the pizza. Should I make those pizza ones again? Yeah. Yeah? All right, now Lily's turn. Hi. So I can see that she also has a few snap peas left, but she could eat those later. She did eat all of her fruit snacks. And let's see, her sauce is gone. And in here, she ate it too. There's just a little bit of cheese left in there. Good job, Lily. Thank you. And we'll see you on Friday. Hi guys, and welcome to Friday. Today is the last day of Valentine's Day lunches, and I definitely saved one of my favorites for last. I think it came out really cute. Now since this is sort of a DIY Lunchable, I started by cutting the cheese. Today I used a combination of Havarti and cheddar, and I used my little heart-shaped cutter to make them cute. Next, I took some salami and rolled it up and added it to a cute little heart pick. To this, I added a few crackers, and in this corner, I added a little cookie. These are the mini sugar heart cookies from Trader Joe's. They're very crispy. Now over in this back corner, I went ahead and added some vanilla Greek yogurt. Just a couple of spoonfuls in each lunch box. And so far, I haven't had any issues with these lunch boxes leaking. Now in this last box over here, I have a tiny little apple. So I started with one red apple and I used my mini heart cutter to take some of the pieces out. I also cut some hearts out of each of the smaller yellow apples. And then I just swapped the pieces. Now I do have some leftover red apple and I will definitely snack on that later. Now to go along with these lunches today, I'm also including a fun snack. These are perfectly pink for Valentine's Day. These are the apple and strawberry fruit bars from Trader Joe's. And it's basically just apples and strawberries, nothing else in there. And I think since I have enough sweet treats in the lunch today, I'll go ahead and just send them with some water. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my lids on. I definitely wanna include a spoon today for the yogurt and an ice pack to keep the meat and the yogurt nice and cool. And of course, when we get home, I will show you what they ate. Lunch is over now, and here's what we ate. These guys did really well today. Mackenzie ate everything. Was it good? Yeah. What was your favorite part? I like the cookies. The cookies, these little heart cookies? Yeah. Those are good, and they're not too sweet. And then here's Jackson's. He did okay. There's a couple of slices of salami left and a couple of crackers, but everything else he did really well. And then Lily, I'm like shocked. Lily, you did such a good job. Do you like it? Yeah. What was your favorite part? Uh, cookies, apple, salami, yogurt. You liked almost everything? That's yeah. great. Guys, and happy Valentine's Day. Today is Friday, it's actually Valentine's Day. So you guys let me know in the comments down below what you ended up doing for Valentine's Day. Yesterday the kids made their little Valentine's Day boxes and today I gave them their little treats. And today's lunch was actually chosen by Mackenzie. So for this lunch, Mackenzie requested another heart-shaped peekaboo sandwiches, but this time I'm going to make these a little bit different. I'm going to start with a little bit of almond butter. Now, of course, if you have an issue with nuts or if your kids go to a school that doesn't allow nuts, you could definitely substitute this almond butter for wow butter or even cream cheese. So I'm just adding a good amount of this almond butter onto the sandwich. Recently, I don't remember where exactly. It might have been in the Bunches of Lunches Facebook group. Somebody had a brilliant alternative to sprinkles, and that is freeze-dried fruit. Now I'm pretty sure you can use just about any type of freeze-dried fruit for this, but I decided to go with strawberries. These are nice and sweet, but they're also crispy. So I'm just taking a few of these and I'm adding them to a separate bag. And now using my spatula, I'm going to very carefully break up these pieces. I don't want them to be like pulverized into powder. I just want to break them up enough so they're about the same size as sprinkles. Now surprisingly, this seems to be working out really well. I'm just gonna add a little bit of these fruit sprinkles right on top of the almond butter. Then I'll add the other slice of bread right on top. 
and a check it out you guys these little peekaboo sandwiches came out so pretty and i just love this real fruit alternative to sprinkles next i'm going to add in some veggies mackenzie requested a combination of carrots and cucumbers i seem to be doing that a lot recently but that's okay now since this is valentine's day i do want to go ahead and add some little heart shapes in here this really isn't very hard to do at all you just need a couple of different sizes of vegetable cutters for this Again, only making three of these per box looks really cute, but it saves on time because I'm not making every single slice. Over on the side, I'm adding some ranch to go along with them. And then to this back section, I'm adding a scoop of fresh raspberries. And since this is Valentine's Day, I'm also going to throw in an adorable little Valentine's ring. I actually saved these off of some cupcakes. And I just think these are so cute. It's a little bumblebee and the wings say, be mine. I think my kids will love these. So I'm just gonna place that right into there and then move on to the snack and the treat. For the snack, I'm adding in some of these pink goldfish crackers. I think the pink color is perfect for this Valentine's lunch. And for the treat, I'm keeping it super simple here. Instead of making something or baking something, I'm just gonna add in a package of these Valentine's Day fruit snacks. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little string cheese right on the side. So now there's everything in Mackenzie's lunch. Now I can go ahead and build Lily's and Jackson's. And there you have it guys. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite go-to lunch is when you're short on time. Now you guys, if you're looking for lunch ideas that do not contain any sandwiches, you can click on the link right here. And if you're looking for lunch ideas for younger kids, you can click on the link right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.